Hey all, it's Matt, your Average Gamer, and I've got something really fun and powerful this time around. A build around Frenzied Flame Incantations. This is one that does substantial damage while also being an all-around good time. Before we get started though, I'd like to give a shout out to my favorite VPN and the one I trust, ExpressVPN. There's a discount link in the description below, so be sure to check it out as it keeps your browsing safe and supports the channel out as well. The intro here I chose Radon. This is New Game Plus 7 as always. For Radon, we'll focus on the Flame of Frenzy, which ends up being my favorite Frenzied Flame incantation in Elden Ring. Why? Because even though bosses can't get madness build up, the Flame of Frenzy does a total of almost 60 poise damage, solid fire damage as well. This is a great incantation to use on larger targets, and you'll hit them with most of it and take them down fairly quickly. This one can be charged too, so keep the Godfrey icon on hand and make sure you charge it up for additional damage. And for Radon, as we get closer here, you're going to see me choose, as I mentioned, the Flame of Frenzy. It ends up being a really solid incantation for those larger targets. You get the posture build up. I don't think we end up getting a break, but the fire damage alone by itself does a substantial amount of damage. If you charge it up, you'll get additional damage. and You can beat up on larger targets with the Flame of Frenzy incantation. This is a quick way to take down Radon and to do a lot of damage, especially because he is a larger target and he's going to get hit with most of the flames each time doing substantial damage. This one is definitely my go-to preferred Frenzy Flame Incantation, although there's another one I really like as well, Frenzy Burst, but we're going to talk about that as we move forward. That's another really awesome Frenzy Flame Incantation. Both the two we're speaking of right now are chargeable, as I mentioned, so you'll get increased damage even though they have longer wind-up times. We're going to talk about that as well. For both of these, though, they deal pure fire damage, and you can get a substantial amount of damage out of either one. They're both really good incantations, regardless of the fact that bosses can't get madness buildup. On would end up going down really quickly in an awesome intro where we're making use of Frenzied Flame incantations in PvE, and you can absolutely do that. This is something you can make work for PvE. Obviously, it's better in PvP and against NPC invaders and such because they can get that madness buildup, but it does work for PvE too. First things first, where do you get Vike's Spear? Well, you get it when he invades in the Urnia of the Lakes. This is a madness weapon that leaves a trail of damage on the ground and is solid for PvP and beating up on NPC invaders. As long as you avoid his leaping jump where he's going to use Vike's Spear and you avoid the madness buildup, he's actually a really easy NPC invader to take on. I use the Blasphemous Blade here, but you can use various things to beat him and he will drop his spear, which builds up madness and has that awesome Madness Ash of War. There it is on the map there in Lyernia of the Lakes. Also something that if you wanted to, you can grab it early in the game. That's the map where you get it. And next up is Unendurable Frenzy, which you can get in the ruins in Consecrated Snowfield. There's a small building with four walls and no roof. You'll have to jump on horseback to get in between them and then work your way down to the prize, an incantation that can add variety to our build. This can be considered a tough grab location-wise because it's in Consecrated Snowfield, which is fairly late game and is more of a secret area. But all in all, it's easy that it's only locked behind a small building puzzle once you get there. You just have to figure out how to get inside there, which you can do on horseback. Pick this up and you can add it to your arsenal. This is the incantation that can keep going as long as you haven't built up your entire madness bar because once you go crazy, it stops. But you can use your full FP bar using this. We're going to use this against Godric later in the video, and this is where it's at in Consecrated Snowfield. Once you're out here, it's a fairly easy grab. Across from Vike Spear, and you'll probably have these graces by now, is the Frenzied Tower. The tower is occupied by enemies that increase madness buildup in the area. Make your way here safely, and you'll be rewarded with one of the best buffs, Hala Shaburi. This will boost your damage by 25% while increasing your damage taken. This will turn you into a glass cannon, which is a really fun way to play Elden Ring, and there it is on the map there, and that's going to be across from the Church of Inhibition, where you get Vike's Spear, and next up is Frenzy's Burst, not far from Halashabiri by some rats. This is an easy grab from a Teardrop Scarab. Once you hit him, you'll net yourself Frenzied Burst, which is essentially an Elden Ring version of a sniper rifle. This is an extremely useful incantation, there it is on the map there. 
And last up is probably my favorite one in the Flame of Frenzy, likely the best one against larger bosses, especially in the Weeping Peninsula. It's in the church in the middle of the map, there's a dead body next to a pillar, and you can grab this easy and also fairly early in your Elden Ring journey as well. Now it's time to start a new journey. Journey 21 on my most used YouTube character, who has appeared, I think, in most videos of mine out of my seven characters. First up here, we have the Grafted Scion, who is never really much to worry about. Here we combine Frenzied Burst with the Flame of Frenzy, which would chew through his HP relatively quickly as both of these incantations combo well together. One for farther away and one for up close, a combo in PvE that is actually quite good. Down goes the Grafted Scion, and we're going to experiment with a couple different spells here that you're going to see me use, or incantations rather, and up next is the Tree Sentinel fight. This was a bit of a tough fight. Here I realized something. Against certain bosses, the two best incantations, with both have to be charged for great damage, are not always ideal. The thing is, they have long wind-up times, extremely long in some cases, which led me to being hit multiple times and the timing felt a tad off. Even so, when charged, the damage is truly great. We're using Frenzied Seal in the offhand for the boost, and the Ur Tree in the main hand as a faith build. The quest line you need to get the Frenzied Seal is mentioned in the description, and is rather lengthy, that's why I didn't include it in the video. Technically though, you don't need it as the 20% increase can be substituted with the Jellyfish Shield, a much easier item to get. Because the seal only increases additional madness buildup when you actually physically hit with the seal and has no bearing on the madness buildup for the incantations, because of its weird scaling, in most cases at 150 or if you're doing 125 meta, you're probably going to be better off with using it in the offhand and then going for a faith-based build with whatever seal you choose in your main hand. I took on this dragon to see the damage I could do to a mid-game boss and to see if I can get in some poise damage. I was actually able to handle this fight quite well as the spells here against larger, slower opponents actually shine here as they tend to hit them in their entirety. After using the Flame of Frenzy, an awesome incantation I'm starting to realize, I was able to get a big posture break on the dragon. This is because of the up to 60 poise damage you can get with the incantation, which makes posture breaks very reasonable with the Flame of Frenzy. This is definitely essential for larger targets as you're going to hit them with all of it. You're going to get most of that posture damage, most of that fire damage. The only issue really is with smaller targets as it has a widespread that could easily miss bosses like Radagon or Melania. It does do excellent fire damage though, which is a huge plus in Elden Ring since a lot of bosses have zero fire resistance or take additional fire damage. After the break on the dragon here, the rest of the fight was relatively easy. And I began to realize how enjoyable and fun it is to use these incantations against the many bosses in Elden Ring. These are really fun to use, it's something you definitely got to try out, and they do work for PvE. You're going to see that throughout the video. You can definitely make them useful for PvE as well as PvP and NPC invaders. And because they're pure fire damage, mainly fire damage, you can boost them with all fire damage type things like the fire scorpion charm and the fire tier, and you can buff them to extremes as well. Plus, you're going to be using Halish Shabiri for an additional 25% damage and stacking that on too. The black dumpling will also give you 10% more damage for a minute when you go mad. Before we change it up and try out on Endurable Frenzy on Godric, we took on Margit with the Flame of Frenzy as well. He took solid fire damage from the incantation as he has zero fire resistance. As I mentioned, fire is a really good type to have. A lot of bosses have zero fire resistance or take additional fire damage. I ended up getting hit more than I would have liked, but his 11,000 or so HP on New Game Plus 7 would end up vanishing fairly quickly. At this point, the whole frenzied build was growing on me as I was finding windows more often and was able to combine my two favorites easier. This makes fights a lot simpler too, as you can snipe right from walking in the fog gate. This helps take damage off the boss before you were even close to the boss, which is a huge plus, makes everything go a little quicker, definitely a solid strategy to have if you're going to run this build. This is something where if you're standing back, you can use the Snipe Rifle version and Frenzied Burst. And then if you get up close, use the Flame of Frenzy, get the additional posture damage and that spread, that fire damage. You're going to take down a lot of bosses with a build like this one. Morgat would vanish and then we would be on to Unendurable Frenzy, so we can check that out in a minute in Godric. But before we do that, I want to show off the usefulness of Frenzied Burst against mobs. 
Starting this off in Stormville Castle, let's talk about how convenient Frenzied Burst is. Seriously, against regular enemies, this has to be one of the most useful incantations in the game. You can easily snipe your enemies from afar without worrying about much, and charging it up does significantly more damage. This makes mobs really easy, as we've got a ton of range to work with here. It's definitely a favorite for me for mobs. As you can see, the eagles here, which are normally very obnoxious, you can snipe them from far away, take them out before they're even near you, and it makes life a lot easier. All right, now it's Godric time. For this, we'd be trying a different incantation, Unendurable Frenzy. This is a powerful option for us that can be used until our FP bar runs out or until we go mad. But don't forget, if we go mad and we proc madness on ourselves, we get additional damage from the black dumpling we're wearing. It ended up being a really fun one to use, but unfortunately, it can easily be interrupted and it doesn't quite have the damage of the Flame of Frenzy. It's not really chargeable either. At times, I found it difficult to pull off and wasn't really sold on this specific incantation. Sure, you can keep it going if you added the infinite FP tier until you're mad at least, but it doesn't quite have the power of some of the other spells and incantations of the same type as Comet Azur, Rock Blaster, and Meteorite of Astal all beat this by a large amount. It's not bad though, but Frenzied Burst and the Flame of Frenzy are my recommendations for building around. Those combo together really well, and it's all you would need to take on the majority of bosses in the game. After some time, Godric went down, but it was tough with this specific incantation. Endurable Frenzy also doesn't quite have the posture damage of the Flame of Frenzy either, nor the ability, as I mentioned, to charge it, making it a bit lackluster option for your Frenzy incantations. As far as your options go, this for me is probably last on the list. I'm not a huge fan. I really like the Flame of Frenzy and Frenzied Burst. And as far as this spell goes, or incantation rather, yeah, I'm just not a huge fan. I ended up switching back to Frenzied Burst, and then the Flame of Frenzy obviously would have been a better option. We would have taken Godric down much quicker with that combination, as opposed to on Durable Frenzy, which you can also see on screen the posture that we have while we're using it isn't a lot as we can easily get knocked out of it. Godric would eventually go down, and once again, this proves you can absolutely use Frenzy Flame incantations for PvE. They're really not bad at all. They can actually do a substantial amount of damage, and the more I use them, the more I realize that I like them, despite the fact that most bosses do not have a madness meter to build up. After Godric here, we're going to move on to mobs with Vike Spear, and then we're going to go over the entire build. Vike's War Spear is actually really easy to take on mobs with because the damage in contact with the flames on the ground can take them out fairly easily. It has a widespread too and can handle groups of mobs, as can the Flame of Frenzy, which absolutely destroys mobs. For Vike Spear, if you want to switch it up, you can use Flame of Frenzy as I mentioned, and if you use this charged on them, they'll take massive damage, which can make your life a lot easier when dealing with groups of enemies in Elden Ring. By the way, if I didn't mention, if you're not sub, definitely hit that subscribe button. The Discord is also great too if you want to join, it's in the description below. If you have any questions about the game or if you need help with anything at all, feel free to reach out in the Discord and definitely hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Covering different Elden Ring builds as always and then maybe even upcoming Armored Core and then obviously the Elden Ring DLC. I can't wait for the future of the channel. I'm really excited about it. I just got my PC set up and everything so I'm looking forward to that doing some better edits and better recording. It's gonna be awesome. I've actually been editing on my phone the entire time, so that's gonna be over soon. We're gonna be on editing with the PC as I learned that, and I cannot wait. For NPC invaders, they're really easy to take care of as they can be affected by madness. This makes the more powerful Flame of Frenzy incantation really useful against them. This can also be solid for PvP as well, although I haven't done the meta lately for PvP. Keep in mind, players can also go mad. That gives you awesome fire damage in combination with the madness buildup. You can make quick work of any of them, so don't worry too much about those random NPC invasions when you're rocking your frenzied incantation build. This is something that can make quick work of them almost every time. So if you want to test any of these out for the first time, NPC invaders make great test dummies for builds like these because you're going to get the madness build up and because you're going to hit them with a lot of fire damage and you can make quick work of them if you charge it up. And then obviously you have Vike's War Spear, which is also fantastic for NPC invaders and can work really well in PvP as well.
Everything's going to be time stamped in the description as usual. I usually have chapters and everything, so that'll be there as well if you need it. And we're going to be going over the build, starting with the buffs. Buffs. First things first, we're going to drink our tier, which has the fire tier in it, and then the faith or defense tier works. Then we're going to use Golden Vow. Then Blessings Boon for some extra HP. Howlish Brewery for the additional 25% damage and a little bit of madness buildup. Then fill up your FP. Then we can use Frenzied Burst, which is chargeable. And the Flame of Frenzy, which those two are my favorite two. Let's get new equipment. Equipment, we have the Erd Tree Seal, which is weightless in our main hand. And then we have the Frenzied Flame Seal in our offhand. A random set of armor on. Black Dumpling goes great with this. Shard of Alexander, Fire Scorpion Charm, Ritual Sword Talisman, Godfrey Icon, because a lot of what we're using is chargeable. And then the Fire Faith Tier or Defense Tier. Let's get into stats. Stats, if you're at a really high level, you'll probably get even more damage out of something like the Golden Order Seal. The Frenzied Seal itself isn't really that great for most levels because it's going to get beaten out by other stuff at higher levels for the boost. And then at lower levels, it has so many stats it scales with that for me, the Urtree Seal going Faith makes more sense with using the Frenzied Seal in the offhand. That's my opinion on stats, so stick to mainly Faith and get a good amount of Vigor as well. Hope you all enjoyed my take on the Frenzied Flame build. Is it certainly something that you can use for PvE, even without the Madness build up? Keep in mind as well that the seal has very spread out scaling, so if you're faith-based, as I just mentioned, you can use it in the offhand, the Eritree seal, and the main hand. Both are weightless too, so they're great options. Not on the Discord, definitely be sure to join the Discord. There's over 500 people are in there now. If you need help with anything, definitely reach out. And if you're not subbed and you love overpowered PvE builds, be sure to check out all the awesome builds that are on my channel. Thanks for watching. As always, I will catch you guys there.